These men are not elite athletes. They're all 40 plus amateur ice hockey players. They're in Sochi, Russia's Olympic city, so they get a police escort. And because they're playing in Sochi's new Olympic venue, the Bolshoi Ice Dome, every bus is scanned and everyone is screened as if they were boarding an international flight. But it's even more thorough. Everyone gets a pat down. Journalists also get the full treatment. All of this for an amateur hockey match. The Russian authorities say it proves what they've been saying all along, and that is they've been taking security very seriously in this city long before the Boston attack. Russia is racing to finish its new Olympic venues by the Black Sea and in the mountains above Sochi. And like all other host countries, its other priority is security. But international terrorism isn't the only concern here. This country is also dealing with an ongoing security threat within its own borders. Russia will host these Olympic Games while also fighting an Islamist insurgency. And the fight centers on a region just 500 kilometers that way, across those mountains, in an area known as the North Caucasus. It's a place where militants and security forces regularly clash, and from where terrorists have planned numerous devastating attacks in other parts of Russia. The most recent, a suicide bombing at Moscow's busiest airport, killed 35 people in January 2011. Vadim Mukhanov is an expert on the North Caucasus and the groups fighting there to establish an independent Islamist state. It's clear that having that kind of neighbor sharply increases the risks for the Olympics themselves and for the people who visit. There's also a connection between the North Caucasus and the Boston Marathon attack. Suspect Tamilan Sarnayev visited there in 2012 and was interested enough in the region's militants to post some of their videos online. In Sochi, some locals are feeling the shockwaves of Boston. This woman says she's worried about security at the Games, and since Boston, she's been avoiding crowded places. But Sochi's organizers say they still believe they can stage the safest Olympics ever, and this is part of that effort. Sochi's deputy mayor, Anatoly Rikov, tells me this network of CCTV cameras has software that monitors crowd behavior to detect possible threats. Russia's security services were always planning a massive effort to protect the Olympics here, and they'll now face greater scrutiny after Boston reminded the world big sporting events are vulnerable targets. Bill Black, CNN, Sochi, Russia.